Hey everybody, this is Charlie from Anthrax, and today I'm hanging out with the one and only DJ Dells. You go on tour after, with the first album. You were just getting out of high school, correct? And I was in art. Tour- uh, yeah, I was just at a uh, art school. I was kind of enrolled in an art school, and then I had to leave that to go and do our first tour. And that was with uh, Black Sabbath. No, no, that was oh, no. with. Uh, a band called Raven. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, you eventually went on tour with Black Sabbath, though, right? Correct. And that was with Dio. No, no, that was okay. So that was around nineteen eighty-five. No, earlier, I'm tripping. So no, 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 you're you're good. Uh, okay. So this was after Dio. Uh, they had a little bit of uh, a change up of uh, you know band members. And it was still Tony Iommi, and I think Geezer w- was still there, but then Geezer split. Um, so uh, and then they had a, a this singer Ray Gillen, who is uh, came in because of um, who 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 was the singer at the time? I can't remember, but he's he was gone, and then they got this guy uh, Ray Gillen, who later on would sing in a band called Badlands. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that band. Um, okay. And Ray passed away uh, a few years after that, but um, but yeah, so we were on this tour, and uh, it was it was interesting because it was us, Wasp, and then Black Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, that was that was a trip. Chris Holmes would come in our dressing room pretty much every night, hang with us, get get loaded, and uh, yeah, dude, I don't know. It was our first tour, so we were all our eyes were all open wide you know and um then you went was it kiss you were with next well about around 87 we did uh a portion of a a kiss tour which was right off of our among the living i'm Mm -hmm. the man kind of time and that was it that was awesome to be on tour with kiss again one of my favorite bands listening to kiss right yeah yeah so this was so a that treat. Must it have wasn't been really surreal. It wasn't Kiss with the makeup on, but it, it was. Uh-huh. It was just as good. And you went on tour with Ozzy. That was around State of Euphoria, correct? Was that around? That yeah, time? that was around eighty-eight. Around mm-hmm. that time, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, uh, and that was our first real like arena tour, um, and that was exciting, man. You know what was what? What's it like touring with? someone like Ozzy Osbourne? You know, Ozzy to me is like uh, uh, an idol. He's a hero, a hero of mine because growing up with Black Sabbath um, and then Ozzy leaving Black Sabbath to do his solo thing. Those first two Ozzy albums, man, can't touch those albums. They're just a, a, a part of you know heavy metal history. Yeah. So being on tour with him, and watching him and then there was this one day we had a day off in buffalo new york and i was walking down from the hotel going into the restaurant and ozzy was coming out of the restaurant and we were in buffalo and he stops me and he's like man have you tried the wings and i i just looked at him and i was just like oh my god you know ozzy's asking me if i tried the wings in buffalo new york in buffalo, you know new york buffalo wings and it was just like a surreal moment, and I never forgot that. Just he stops me, and he's like, man, have you tried the wings? <laughs> did was, you try the wings or not? Of course. Of course I did. Yeah. <laughs> of course I did. Ozzy told me to. Yeah, I mean, how could you not, right? <laughs> yeah. So, But, yeah, it's a trip, man. It's a trip to see people, like, in person. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like your brain just goes through this whole thing like oh, wow he's standing right in front of me in the flesh you know what i mean so yeah it's a trip that's awesome man um and also like you know you've you've been around other legends too like lemmy like lemmy is amazing like yeah. um what, what would do you have any uh, memories of of lemmy that that you can speak on yeah, i, I see get- one photo where you looked so happy in this photo off your Instagram. I just wanted to share it. Um, so, 
that photo of Lemmy, we were on tour together and I was growing up, I was like the biggest Motorhead fan. Mm -hmm. I had everything that Motorhead put out. Um, and then one day on the tour, I asked Lemmy, I said, hey man, if I bring some things, would you sign them for me? He's like, of course. But he had no idea what I was about to bring. Um, and dude, I brought my collection and he looked at it all and he looked at me and he looked at it all again. And then he looked at me and he's like, pick five. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and uh, so I picked like, you know, the five things and in that picture you see the five things yeah. or, or, it was either five or seven and he yeah you look so happy i love that